This is another in a series of videos discussing quadratic functions and quadratic equations. There are six issues that we're interested in finding in a quadratic function. Here, here they are listed. In this particular one, we're going to focus on the x-intercepts. This will be the first of a, of a two or three part uh, series on x-intercepts. The first question that we'll discuss is how many x-intercepts are there in the function f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. The short answer is that there could be zero, there could be exactly one, or there could be two. Now let's look at why that is. We'll come to understand this situation by looking at the concavity of the parabola and the location of the vertex. Let's begin by thinking about an opening up parabola and a vertex that's below the x-axis, then it's going to be clear that there'll be exactly two x-intercepts. On the other hand, whether we have an opening up parabola or an opening down parabola, if the vertex is on the x-axis, there will be exactly one x-intercept. And for opening up parabolas, if there's an opening up parabola and the vertex is above the x-intercept, then the parabola will never intersect the x-axis, so there are no x-intercepts. These cases will be summarized in the handout that goes with the video. Let's do, do the same kind of reasoning with opening down parabolas. If there's an opening down parabola and the vertex is above the x-axis, then clearly there will be two x-intercepts. And as noted earlier, if there's an opening down parabola and the vertex is on the x-axis, then there'll be only one x-intercept. And finally, when we have an opening down parabola with the vertex below the x-axis, then because it's opening down, it just will never cross that x-axis. These six cases are summarized in the handout. In previous videos, we discovered how to find the location of the vertex is at a minus b over 2a and the y value of that vertex will be whatever the function is at a minus b over 2a. So let's look at that in more detail. So if we're looking at the function f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, if we plug in a negative b over 2a for each one of the x's, then we're going to simplify that expression we need to square minus b over 2a, which will be a b quantity squared. That becomes a positive because we're squaring it, all divided by 4a. So now let's get a common denominator. I'm sorry, first let's uh, cancel these a's here. Now the common denominator is going to be 4a. So we needed to multiply this fraction by a, by a 2a. Uh, by a 2 top and bottom, and this one by a 4a top and bottom. Adding the fraction gives us that result. Now we'll combine like terms. Now to help make this consistent with something that we'll do later on in the discussion, I'm going to rearrange this by multiplying the top and the bottom by a minus 1. So what we've found is that the y value of the vertex could be found by this by this particular uh, expression. It's going to be uh, uh, b squared minus 4ac divided by a minus 4a. We're going to examine that expression. The numerator, b squared minus 4ac, we'll see two or three times in this uh, series of videos. It's called the discriminant because it allows us to know, looking at that expression, we can tell how many uh, uh, x-intercepts there are. In fact, if that b squared minus 4ac happens to be negative, then this, exp this expression, the, the vertex, is going to be a, a positive uh, vertex. If that uh, b squared minus 4ac happens to be positive, then the vertex is going to to have a negative y value is going to be below the, the x-axis. And of course, if that expression is equal to zero, then the vertex is going to have a y value of zero and therefore is on the x-axis. 
So let's build a table summarizing some observations. Remember that the A value will tell us whether the, the uh, parabola is concave up or concave down depending on whether A is positive or negative. The B squared minus 4AC is what we're looking to examine because it tells us how many x-intercepts there are. And then the K value is going to be a combination of this B squared minus 4AC and some properties of, of A. So that's going to tell us that K value is the Y uh, value of the vertex. So the combination of looking at what's happening with this A and this, and this K, we know how many, many x-intercepts there are. And we're just going to look and, and see what, how that relates to this discriminant. So in the first case, whether a is is less than zero or whether a is greater than zero that would mean that the parabola is either opening up or opening down it doesn't matter if that b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero then the k value will also be equal to zero so whether we've got an opening up or an opening down parabola but the but the vertex is on the x-axis will have only one x-intercept so when b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, there is exactly one x-intercept. Let's compare another one while we're right here. If, x, if a is less than 0, that means that's an opening down parabola, and b squared minus 4ac is positive, then k will also be positive. Notice why. That numerator is going to be positive because b squared minus 4ac is positive. And since a is negative, negative 4 times a, which is a negative, that bottom will be positive as well. So we've got a, an opening down parabola, and the vertex is above the x-axis. So there's exactly two uh, distinct x-intercepts. On the other hand, if a is positive and b squared minus 4ac is also positive, then the vertex is going to be negative. So, so the, the y value of the vertex is going to be negative. So it's a, it's a below, the vertex is below the x-axis, but because a is positive, it's an opening up parabola. So again, b squared minus 4ac being positive is going to tell us that we have exactly two x-intercepts. We'll look at the last two cases together. If a is negative, but b squared minus 4ac is negative, then k is going to be negative, so therefore we've got an opening down parabola with the vertex, the y value of the vertex, being negative, so it's below the, the y-axis. There are no x-intercepts. On the other hand, if A is positive and B squared minus 4AC is, is negative, then K is going to be positive. So we've got an opening up parabola because of the A squared is, is positive. And the vertex has a Y value above the X axis. So we've got an opening up parabola uh, above the X axis and there are no X intercepts. So to summarize, that discriminant, if b squared minus 4ac is 0, there, there is exactly one x-intercept. If b squared minus 4ac is positive, then there's exactly two x-intercepts. And if uh, b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, if it's negative, then there are no x-intercepts.